Welcome back everyone to the Back 40 Firewood channel. So in my last video, I showed you a little uh, gadget. Actually, here, let me show you again. Some of you, a lot of you figured out what this thing is right here. I will be showing you that. Hope, well, hopefully I'm gonna be showing you that because um, what I need to do first before I can put that on the tractor is I need to remove my carryall. And my carryall frame is bent and so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get it off and once I get it off I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to put it back on and actually the carryall to me is one of uh, my most used and in, in my opinion <laughs> what the the attachment I like the most because I can carry all my stuff with it <laughs> but first of all I might I also off of a lot of your suggestions, I went back and I grabbed a bucket full of a uh, bunch of my scrap wood, my junk wood. But let me show you what's going on um, with my carry-all frame. Basically what happened is I think I overloaded it both with the weight and I have a, a hitch attachment on it. So I was pulling a trailer full of wood as well. And I think I just had too much tongue weight and too much... Uh, weight on the on the carry off for the frame but my frame is a little modified so check this out so there is my carry all and there is the carry all frame and you can see right there not looking too straight across it's also bent a little down there but basically what i have here for this setup um fellow woodhound over on the east side of wisconsin Mr. Jared Hildebrandt, he, back when I first got the tractor, um, I didn't have my pallet forks. So I was using my carry-all frame as a set of forks to uh, move logs around. And what he did is he built and fabricated the, this frame to basically attach to the carry-all. And then um, I had just a set of pins through the, these two plates and those pins I could pull out drop this carry-all off and then still have the carry-all frame to use as uh, pallet forks. Let me walk over here, I'll show you this side. But after I bent the frame up, you can see right there she's bent as well, um, I took the pins out and I put in these bolts just to hold it on there because it was getting a little uh, loose. So now what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna try, well, I'm not thinking, what I am going to do is take these bolts out, drop the carry-all off, and then see how bad this uh, frame is damaged. But then I wanna put the drawbar on, and that little piece that I showed you before is actually for the drawbar, because I wanna start being able to use that right there a little bit more. So let me get set up. I'm gonna grab my wrenches and we will take off these bolts and see um, if we can get this, this frame or get the carry-all off the frame. So the nuts are off the bolts, and this bolt actually looks like it will slide out. Yeah, you can get that one out. Oh, all right. So that bolt comes out as well. And this frame's a little loose. 
So see, that was kind of the idea behind this whole setup is just being able to pop out some pins and then this whole carry-all I can set down and drive away from and then use the frame um, as forks. And I've got, I've got some runners underneath there to set it on. So let me go set this thing down and then um, we'll take a look at the frame. That's, that's bulged out. This top piece here is really, really twisted. So now it's gonna be a matter of, can I get this thing off? So, <laughs> yeah, she's a little twisted. That one side is dropped down a little bit more than the other. Bottom two pins are out, but now this top pin is giving me a little trouble. It's in there pretty tight. I was able to get this pin out now. So, carry all detached. Yeah, that is not, that is not looking good. So there is my drawbar. And that is, like I said, that's what I want to get put on my three-point hitch here to pull my trailer around with. And what this thing is, this is supposed to slip on to your drawbar and then go on your arm here and prevent your drawbar from spinning. Because without it, if you hook up a ball hitch, it'll just spin. There's, it doesn't lock. So this, like many of you said, is a lock for your drawbar. So let me get this drawbar put on and we will see if I can figure out <laughs> how to actually put this on. All right, so there it is. And now you can see, although this, if it's, I think I'm gonna have to tighten this up a little bit. Looks like it should work. It'd be better if it sat right there. And then it prevents it from spinning. So I can use my, my ball hitch. So I tighten this bolt up here and that kind of locked this down onto this arm of the, uh, the three point and then it locked this in place so it doesn't slide so much. So now I think my draw bar is set. I'm ready to go uh, test it out and hook up to my trailer.
right, so that worked out good. It uh, did what it was supposed to. I did notice that um, this thing did kind of slide over a little bit. Um, so I might have to look at something. Because if it's over here, it's going to roll. So I'll just have to look into that. I think maybe if it gets, you know, once it has some weight on there, it should hold it in place. But... But that will make a big difference in being able to utilize this trailer to move wood around with the tractor. I mean, it will hold a lot more wood than the bucket, obviously, and the old carryall frame. Like I said, the only downside was I was worried about taking that carryall off because I really like having that to be able to bring all my tools and saws and everything back here into the wood yard. But now that I know it does come off, and we're going to go back up there in a bit to take a look at the frame. Um, I'm thinking it should go back on, but otherwise, that right there is going to make moving wood around much easier. Let's go check out that frame and see how bad it really is. So I've got the frame sitting on some level concrete, and you can see one side is bent up, the other side's flat. Um, this right here, I can tell is bent out that way. Like you can, you can see it has a pretty good, pretty good stress put on it. I think this side, this right here is the main, the main thing that's messed up. So now the question is, is it worth trying to fix this or replace it um i know in the spring now they go on sale for about 150 bucks uh and this thing um i don't know what it would take to fix it i would i mean i definitely want to have one if i do replace this and get another one i think what i will do is have um have it like welded up with some cross bracing on the bottom there and maybe put um on the end here um, a piece of angle iron and like that and then weld a receiver for a hitch on there so when the hitch is hooked up it's not you know there's not so much stress on twisting it it's not a pretty sight when i look at it now the connector pins are bent out the three the top hitch um that is kind of twisted um yeah it's not so now that it's off i'm gonna wait um, i'm gonna use the trailer for a couple days and then i'll come back and try to put this back on to the carryall frame and see how that goes um, so for now it's just going to sit here while i think about it and then go over your feedback uh, and see you i'm not like i said i just don't know what it would take to fix this and if it'd even be worth um trying to fix to straighten it out because i'm sure you'd have to cut these off bend it back i, I just i just don't know so thanks for watching. If you guys have any advice, like I said, uh, any feedback on what to do with this frame, leave that in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.